Hey guys, welcome to another exciting tutorial of creating process and today's video we will design this logo. And if you look at this logo, there is a formation of letter A and this design comprises of 8 strips of color. And if we carefully look at this, the whole composition is forming a circle and after that there is some modification here. You can see that. So we will design this logo using the very, very basic steps. So let's begin with the tutorial. So to design this, we'll first take a ellipse. So we'll use the ellipse tool and draw out a circle. We will remove the fill color and fill the stroke colors. And after that, we'll give some thickness to the ellipse. So we'll increase the stroke thickness here. So just increase it. Okay. Okay. And after that, the next thing is, we'll create one more ellipse with certain thickness but of different colors so that we can uh, distinguish between the previous and the earlier one. And draw the, and the thickness to be around 1 and draw the circle. Once you've done that, the next thing is we have to place this here in which this corner should be touching the edge of this circle so just drag in and place it there carefully okay we can increase the diameter here the overall uh, radius of the circle now the next thing the next thing is we need only this part we don't need these portions so we'll delete that with the selection tool select these vertices delete it out our next step is to place the anchor point to the center of this circle and to find the center of the circle we'll first select this and here is the center of the circle so we'll use the ruler tool to place the circle so center so just go in and place it there in the same way select again from here also place it there so here is our center of the circle so just select this portion Select the rotate tool and place the anchor point here. And after that, we know that we need 8 strips. So this face of the circle is going to be divided into 8 pieces. So there is 360 degree. So if we divide it by 8, you get 45 degree each. So if we rotate this to 45 degree angle, like this, placing the anchor point here and just rotate it by clicking the Alt to 45 degree approximates 45 45 after that when you have done the 45 degree angle after they will just duplicate it for seven times two three four five six seven and just see whether there is extra no exact so we have drawn eight pieces of uh, this curves one two three four five that will divide the lower surface of the circle into eight pieces so we can delete this ruler now the next thing is we will convert the lower surface into object form to so go to object expand this will expand into object form and here you go we got the object now the next thing select all the pieces except the lower one go to object path and join so this will join all the piece curves which we have drawn as so after this we need to do some little bit of corrections here you can see that these pieces are going this piece is going inside our circle so we don't need that so we'll remove that by adding some anchor points here with the pen tool just add some anchor point at the first select the piece select the curves now using the pen tool add the anchor points to their centers here the empty piece here and after that using this direct selection tool select the anchor point and just move it outside do the same for all the two other pieces 
and after that once we have done that we can now select the curve hole it will be one object go to object path and divide object below so this process will divide the our circle the surface circle into eight pieces we need to just ungroup it and after that every piece is different now the next step is to fill the color so select the piece with direct selection tool with the eye picker select the color do this for all the other pieces just select and with the eye picker fill the color V for selection I for color V for selection and I for the color so we got the color here we got our oval our circle now we need to form this shape so to get this shape we'll use one of the important tool of illustrator just group this first up Control G and go to object envelope distort make with wrap and here we have different types of wrapping here so we have arc we have arc uppers so what we'll be using here is we will be using this only simple arc and we'll be modifying here using these various tools just dragging here and there just pushing the edges and you can see that it's forming the shape which we are looking for so you can make lots of things from there and after that, once you've done you can click the OK button and go to object expand it so that you can get the object form now place it there now with the text we'll write the text alpha H A alpha you can increase the thickness of the uh, this thickness of the alpha the text by going to the stroke and selecting the thickness here you can increase or decrease it so just in case if your text doesn't have the ability to uh, getting bold you can use this trick by filling the strokes so you can increase the thickness of the stroke and your text will be more thicker than earlier one so you can use that now we'll fill it with the same color you can just select like that or you can go here and select the color from here so it's dark red and after that just scale it down and place it at the place where we play want to place it here our alphabet A should be capital shift A like a bigger alpha and just scale down a little bit place it properly and we have finished our logo um, hope you enjoyed the tutorial don't forget to check out the next tutorial coming up and if you want more updates on designing you can press the subscribe button. Thank you.